Another way to calculate Euclidean distance is by using the distance accumulation tool. This is a compound tool that is preferred over the legacy tool of Euclidean distance. It has quite a lot of inputs. Some of these are required and some are optional. As with Euclidean distance, you have to specify your starting points, so for example, houses. Then you have to specify the output raster. For example, here I'm going to calculate a distance of 5 kilometers. Then you have the additional input of a barrier feature or raster that you can have to restrict that distance. For example, if you have a highway that people can't cross, you can set that as a barrier of in, within the tool. And then you leave the rest of the inputs empty. However, if you know how far you want to travel, so here I want to travel for 5 kilometers, I can set my maximum accumulation of distance to 5 kilometers. It's important here that you know what your data uses in terms of units. My data are projected into a planar projection in meters, so 5 kilometers is equal to 5,000 meters. And that is how you would then calculate the Euclidean distance using the distance accumulation tool. One important aspect here is that Euclidean distance normally calculates to the extent of your input features. So if you want to ensure that the distance actually reaches 5,000 meters, in this case, or 5 kilometers, you'd have to force the environment of the processing extent to an extent that exceeds the extent of your input features. So for example here, the red outline is Buffalo City, which has a much larger extent than the homestead, which are given by the purple symbols. And by doing this, I will force my distance calculation beyond the actual extent of my homesteads to ensure I reach the five kilometers.